Hey guys, welcome back to Joe Jaguar Show. I'm Joe Jaguar, of course. And what am I doing today? So I wanted to talk to you about the Zummel 130 against the Skywatcher Heritage 130. I Again, I don't have the Skywatcher anymore, but I know exactly what it is. I know everything about it. So let's get going. Both of them, maybe when I get to the Skywatcher, I will show a couple um, uh, clips or I will show a couple pictures of it type of thing so you can see it. So this is a Zummel 130 millimeter. That means the diameter uh, of the mirror in this case because it's a reflector telescope. So it's 5.1 inch and it's 650 millimeter focal length which gives you a focal ratio of f5. So what that means is this uh, 130 millimeters, if you do five times, you get an F5. Okay, now this is a solid tube version. Um, so the difference in the Skywatcher version has the same type of, both of them actually have the same type of base, which is a press board, particle board um, base. The Skywatcher one is a little taller. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter. Um, so both are really the same. This one is a solid aluminum um, OTA, or what they call the tube. The other one is about this big, and it goes up and down on two little rods. So that one does compact half as much. So really the Skywatcher compresses to an F 2.5, and then it stretches up to a uh, F5. This one is just, uh, it's a little bit more uh, longer or taller, uh, being it's F5, uh, you can't compress it. So it's the one benefit of the Skywatcher. So if portability is the number one thing that you want, um, and of course you're looking for a tabletop model, then that might be the one for you. The next difference would be, well, the finder scope is really the same. Both of them have a red dot finder scope um, on it. Um, I would say both are probably equal quality. Really no big difference there. Difference also is this one comes with a inch and a quarter rack and pinion focuser. And the Skywatcher, because it has two rods in an open design, or they call it like a half truss system. Uh, it can't have a regular focuser. So it has uh, what's called a helical focuser. And what that is, is you twist it up and down instead of here using two knobs to, um, you know, focus like that to go up and down. Now, definitely this kind of focuser is much better. Uh, the other one it has lots of slop there are videos how to unslop it type of thing, but it's also, it's not as convenient doing a helical focuser. It doesn't have as much range as uh, I would say this one. Look how much you got almost at least two and a half inches tall. Uh, there's no way the um, Skywatcher version uh, has that much uh, focus plane on it. So that's one benefit on this guy. It comes with a real um, focuser. And even though it's inch and a quarter, um, it's mostly plastic, but it's good quality plastic. There's the cheap, cheap quality plastic, and then there's the okay, decent plastic. And of course, metal is better, but it wouldn't be on this type of um, low entry level scope. Um, but if you wanted to, you could put a inch and a quarter full metal or uh, um, focuser if you wanted to. You just swap it out. You might have to drill new holes, but that's not a big deal. Uh, what also is a plus on this guy is you see how it has the four veins and the Skywatcher is only on one single vein. Um, also, see there's these thumb screws here. There's four of them up down over here. So what if your secondary mirror is slightly off from the focuser plane, you can loosen these four twist it up or down, left or right a little bit to get it exactly over the focuser. Now, being there to both F5, 
They're both wide field, the exact same. There's no difference there. They're both parabolic mirror. But in an F5, collimation, or that's also called the alignment of the mirrors, have to be fairly good, or your views are not going to be as well. So with this type of um, spider, they call it, a secondary spider holder, you can get it more accurate than just a single rod holding the secondary mirror. So that definitely is a plus on this guy. Uh, the other downfall of the Skywatcher, compared to, I would say, this guy, is because it does compact, sure, but because it's on two rods and it's an open design versus a solid tube design, is you need a shroud. So you have to figure out how to block that stray light from going in there. But also, because it's open design, your secondary mirror, which is right in the middle or underneath this focuser, is probably going to do up in the hot, warmer, uh, humid months more faster than a solid tube design. So that's another benefit. Another benefit is the Skywatcher version just has a dovetail mounted directly onto the tube, which is fine for, you know, because it's this Dobsonian mini base. This one comes with two rings and a Vixen bar. Why is that different? Or why is that better to have two rings? The reason is, you guys might not realize, if you have the focuser in a weird type of angle, because the other one is fixed onto the tube, you can never twist it to make the focuser go in a perfect um, location for you to view from. So if you put it on an EQ mount, an EQ mount does these weird type of, or it's normal uh, range in the sky, right? If you haven't, maybe look at how EQ mounts move. And if it's fixed, then that means if you're looking at a weird type of, uh, you know, on an EQ mount, it might be at a weird position. So with uh, range, you could just loosen it and twist it to whatever position you, you want to look at. And there's also, as, as you can see, if it's not counterbalanced, you could just push the tube a little bit higher to counterbalance that. So I think this design is better. I like, so basically, um, do you guys agree? I think this is a better scope. Now, if your number one issue is you want the smallest compact, then maybe buy that. Um, if you're looking for something that has a better focuser, has a better spider, okay, and you don't need a shroud for, for here, both of them need a tabletop. Now, really this guy, this is really how big you would need or how tall of a table or a stool you would need for both of them. And let me show you downwards. This is the box that it came with. And I've already measured this guy. And it's 31 inches tall. So which means to if you buy anything smaller, you're going to be still bending down. So for this guy, you would really need to be, uh, I guess I got to raise the rings. Uh, but that's what's good about having rings. You could just raise or lower it. Uh, type of thing whenever you want um, but anyway for both of them you would need something around the 30 to 32 inch range maybe up to 36 if you're even taller um, closer to six foot or something uh, but that's it so I think the Zumo uh, version wins uh, or at least the solid tube version wins over the truss design unless portability is your number one and your only goal uh, but both will give you very similar views. They're both the same size, same focal ratio, uh, and that's that's really it. So anyway, you guys decide what you like. I showed you what the differences are, and you guys decide which one you will prefer. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, guys, I bought this guy just to show you guys. So being a small YouTuber, I actually make no money whatsoever. So please subscribe to my channel and so I can get to the point where I can make a couple bucks and then I can actually buy, you know, keep buying stuff to show you guys. Um, the bigger channels, they already start getting paid 
I don't get a red scent uh, yet. And even though there's no more red scents anywhere, uh, you can't get red scents. But anyway, uh, that's it. So please subscribe if you like my channel. And again, as you know, a lot of people, they just tell you the good of the item that they're showing you. And if you look at most of my videos, I will tell you what's good about it, but I will tell you also the downfalls about it. And a lot of times when you're somebody sponsoring you or a store or a dealer lends you the product, they don't want to hear anything bad about the product they're lending you. Um, and if you do, um, you know, they're probably never going to lend you stuff. So I don't do that. Um, I rather, once I could, you know, once my channel keeps making money, I'll buy the product, then I will show you so that I don't have a biased opinion and only tell you the good stuff, keep the, the not so good stuff to yourself or to myself. And uh, that way it's, it's not giving you guys a, uh, a perfect opinion. So again, so I, I would appreciate it if you comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.